So a button ID is essentially a second name for a button or a constant reference point that you can use in scripting. So here we've got a, an active button um, and it's our naming button and its name currently is Duke but its button ID is home team. So this name up here, Duke, can change all at once but the home team is going to stay constant. Now we can do a lot of cool scripting stuff with this. So if we come over here to this picture, this Duke logo, here we've set up a variable, uh, dollar sign, which is the sign for variable, team equals button name home team. So we're referencing this Duke button. Now, if you hover over it with a mouse, you can see at the bottom of the screen here that it's got Duke, and then in brackets it's got home team, which is its button ID, and that's what we're referencing. So if team, so if this button with the ID home team equals Duke, button opacity 100, so make it appear. If it's not called Duke, button opacity 0. So then when I press execute, it's going to be the only one that's there. <clears throat> now if I change this name here to Miami, Miami's one will show up, and that's because it's got the same scripting, button name home team, referencing that button ID, and then if that equals Miami, again, show it. If it doesn't, make it disappear. So what other cool stuff can we do? So here we've got some uh, shooting buttons. And if we come into the scripting for these, here we've got some different things. So we've got another variable. This time we're creating the name of something. So name equals button name home team plus May 3. So we're taking what's in that home team ID slot, currently Miami, and we're adding made 3 to it. So we're creating a name and then we're renaming it that. So currently it's Miami made 3. All these other ones are Miami May 2, Mist 3, May, Mist, uh, Mist 2. So we're getting that button ID and then adding something to the end of it. So then if we change this to um, Clemson, they're going to change because that button ID, um, in that slot, that name has changed. It's changed to Clemson, so it's adding Clemson and then adding May 3 to the end of it. Then up the top here, we've got something similar. We've got home team plus position, so we're finding something and we're creating a name. So we've got name equals button name home team plus position. So again, getting that button ID, finding what's in that slot, then adding position to the end of it, and we're renaming it that. But because this one's showing an output, rather than showing a name like these other ones are, we want to show something else. So we're going to show button name home team. So again, we're defining a variable, team equals button name home team, and we're showing it. Not renaming it, showing it. And that's why it's got just Clemson there. But its actual name is going to be Clemson position, because that's going to be its name, but it's showing Clemson. And in terms of colors, again, we're using a whole bunch of if statements, like these pictures. For these pictures, we used if Clemson button opacity 100, button opacity 0. For this, we've got if Clemson button color 90, 30, if Clemson output color white. So again, we're using an if statement, brackets, if team equals or where that button name is, uh, button ID is home team, if that equals Clemson, change the button color to orange. If it's called Clemson, change the output color to white. So again, if we change this to <coughs> Florida State, It's going to find that name, button uh, that button home team, uh, and then it's going to output that color that it finds after it's called that. So many different things. You can change the pictures, you can change the color, and you can change the name.